Well, we came, we saw, we had coffee. What a beautiful little place. Absolutely stunning. Very nice lady back there who loves motorbikes. I gave her a card. Maybe she'll uh, join the channel if so. Nice to meet you, ma'am. lady in the village came up to me and started talking I love motorbikes this is such a beautiful road for motorbikes yeah. I said go get your helmet and come on let's go she said oh I think my husband would be angry when he comes back down I said well, we'll, leave, we'll leave a note for him in the store <laughs> yeah, what do we have here a little Miradora is it worth a look see
like we're getting ready to roll into a cloud bank here. Go down with the screen to keep from getting my face wet. One thousand four hundred and fifty meters. Let's see if there's any gas in this village. Well, I don't think it is because uh, the closest the closest station is uh, about 20 something kilometers from here. N625 going through the gorge to Kangas de Onis. 27 miles to the 27 kilometers to the turn off on the AS114. Hopefully we'll get fuel before then. Or it'll be coasting the rest of the way down. We're now entering the Principality or the something. Uh, oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, this is a good place to stop for food. And there's a left turn right here that goes up to... Uh, uh, we can. Let's, yeah, let's stop and check it out. <laughs> of course you will. And that road there looks really nice. I've seen, I've, I've looked at it on Google Maps. Because uh, it looks like it goes, it turns up about, I don't know how many kilometers, but it like becomes a little bit of off-road, I think. I think you might. Hey, Richie, does this look familiar? Desfiladero de Sela. I told you about, remember you stopped here? And I told you about going up this way? So, we're here. Look at this. Just finished up a really nice lunch of uh, yeah, what was sort of like uh, stewed chicken with some fries, but I didn't eat the fries. They were nice though, they were homemade. Not that store-bought stuff. You can see she hand cut them. And Jeff and Andrew have gone ahead. So I'm back with Aziz, Sergey, and Otto. And we're just easing down. Still on the N625. Towards Cangas de Onis. And where we're going to get some gas. Did some drone work back there. It was fun. Got the boys coming around the corner. A little picture of the gorge in the restaurant. Hope it came out. If so, you'll see it in this video. Does this mean that... Uh -huh. I don't know. It might be. So the 625 is closed, so we're going this way and it will join back up on the 625. Yeah, so it could be a, a collapse or something, I would imagine. But as always, if there's a closure it, or a detour, it usually provides for another good way to go. So I'm not sure what road this is that we're on. A lot of loose rock on the road though. Fucking deer. Look at that. Hey, Bambi. You guys back there? 
You guys back there? Dude, get up here quick. You gotta see this. I'm, I'm literally riding next to a fucking running deer. Oh, he just jumped over. And look at this. Oh, these are mountain goats. Did you see that deer? Oh no, you're too far back. That is insane. <laughs> I got that on video, baby. <laughs> I got to ride very um, conservative now because I've literally got 44 kilometers till I'm dry. And I'm sure nobody bought, nobody brought a clear tube to use that we could siphon if we had to, which would be a good thing to add to the list. We're on the AS261. picture upper think if I had me a place over here I'd divert some of that stream and uh, have a trout farm sell uh, fresh river trout Gas station should be 900 meters. There's Repsol on the left. Look at this folks I stopped for fuel this is empty and that's how much range I had left <laughs> so when you're in Picos remember start off with a full tank well we stopped and got gas uh, just outside of Kangas Dionis and I had three kilometers showing range left that's crazy and it's been a great ride today be aware of the uh, closure back there in the gorge had to do a detour of about 30 kilometers maybe 28 kilometers it was all right nice detour 2002 kilometers since picking up the bike
just pulling over to make sure everybody's back there. I see him. The truck, yeah. All right. the AS-345. Back on the N621, leaving Panis to Potis. That's been a great ride today, folks. We've uh, done a big loop around Picos, went to Candevaldion. Had a coffee and a uh, piece of cake. Then we rode a little further, uh, had a little lunch. Nice chicken lunch. And then uh, we got had to go all the way around because the gorge was closed. Barely made it to the fuel station. Only three kilometers to go. And then just went through POTUS again on the way back to the hotel. Had to stop and put a new car in. I've got so much video. So we're just a few minutes away from the hotel, maybe 20. And the weather is gorgeous. The sun is out. We've made uh, plans to take a taxi back down into POTUS for dinner and some drinks. And that's for 7 p.m. So uh, we'll have about an hour and 20 minutes to chill. But what a day. So let's see what tomorrow holds. Nice little camping area there, Richie. La Isla. Camping and bungalow. Check that out next time. Hey guys. Oh, look at a little baby cow. What's that guy running to? Oh, we got a stray. He got a stray. Yeah, he says, but I don't want to be in the road. There's crazy bikers coming by. Well, folks, there it is. We finished day four. Back at the Parador after day four. Look at the waterfall coming down.